Hi everyone, uh, this is Ken from Orion Telescopes, and I wanted to make a short video on our uh, Starshoot G cameras, the, the blue ones, uh, uh, specifically how to set the black level. I, I get this question from time to time, and I thought I'd make a little video showing my desktop and, um, and how to do it. Uh, so first of all, I'm using Sequence Generator Pro, and it has image statistics as one of its windows. Um, you can do this in probably most all of the, the uh, camera control software programs. Um, Maxim has it under their statistics. You just have to set the area to the full chip so you can see all of the pixels, the data for all of the pixels. Uh, Nina, Nebulosity, I'm sure there's a, a, a fairly easy way to display this data that you need to, to look at. Um, so let me connect to the camera. Uh, first of all, I'm using a G24. Uh, that's our full format camera. This will work with any of them. So the G10 color, the, the G26, they all basically work the same way. Um, first of all, a little bit, uh, a little background here. Um, I've got it set to 14 bit. Uh, I'd have to turn the camera off to change that, but make sure it's 14 bit. Um, raw, low noise is always good. Uh, conversion gain, um, low gain has the biggest um, uh, full well capacity, biggest dynamic range. High gain lowers that a little bit, but the noise, the the read noise really drops. So I like to set this to HCG. Uh, most of the cameras, especially the newer ones, uh, with a low gain setting. Um, this gives you very low read noise and still a very nice uh, large uh, dynamic range, uh, full well capacity, which which basically is dynamic range. Um, and you don't really have to go very high. I'd say probably with these newer cameras, the newer CMOS cameras, where you're at or even past parity, even at the lowest gain setting, um, you probably don't have to go up between you know 0 and 10. Uh, this is a... Uh, uh, percentage scale, so 0 to 100 in the ASCOM driver here. So I'd say not much more than 10, and in most cases I'm setting mine to 0 or just 1 or 2. So uh, 0 gain, and I'm going to set the black level to 0 just to show you how this works um, to start with. Um, so I'll click OK. You're going to want to take bias frames, which are the shortest, shortest length exposure possible. Um, so here in um, Sequence Generator Pro, make sure you're at the binning that you're going to be imaging at, and you take a zero's length exposure. So take the exposure, it's going to download it, and it'll give you some data up here. So the minimum pixel for the maximum pixel 108. That means uh, the maximum pixel, that means somewhere in this image here, there's a pixel that is lit up to 108, and that's the brightest pixel in the image. Uh, the cap's on, and again, zero length exposure, so it's very, it's very, very short. Uh, but the minimum is four. Now, for whatever reason that uh, uh, analog to digital, the A to, A to D converters in here work, um, you never get zero. This is a, this is scaled. It goes from zero to 65,000. So it's scaled to 65,000, uh, even though this is a 14-bit camera, not a 16-bit. So the minimum the black pixel is going to be four uh, in this uh, in this camera. If you had a 16-bit camera, I think the minimum is 16. And if you had a 12-bit camera, it's it's probably one or two. So um, if I was to keep recycling images, the maximum might change. There's 112, but the minimum stays at four. See, 124 stays at four. That means there are black pixels in this image, at least one and probably a lot more. You don't want pure black pixels in the image. You want to raise off that noise floor. That basically pushes the left side of the histogram a little bit to the right. Uh, and it gives you some wiggle room because um, black pixels, some programs have problems with it, divide by zero problems. Um, so that's where the black level comes into play. So go back here to the ASCOM driver, and you can change this on the fly. Um, so let's set the black level up to, let's say, 30. Round, nice round number. Click OK. Now let's take another zero length exposure. And, okay, check this out. So the minimum went up. It was 108, 112, I think. Now it's to 284. That means all the pixels have had 30 counts kind of added to them. Um, and But what's interesting is the minimum is still at 4. So even if I take a couple more exposures, yeah, so minimum is still at 4. There's a threshold that you got to kind of jump past before it really kicks in. So I have not gone up high enough on my black level. So let's go to, let's say, 50. Keep it a round number again. Uh, take the exposure again. Now let's see what happens. OK, here we go. So the, the maximum is raised up even more. Now the minimum is 64. Let's take a few more of these exposures. 72. That's pretty good. So I'm staying above 60. Now occasionally, if you're just above that threshold, it, there, see, it's starting to drop again. Um, it might occasionally drop back down to the minimum. So I like to have a little bit of wiggle room in there. 
and I think maybe I'll set mine to 75. Every camera is different. Even even among the same model camera, you're going to have slightly different characteristics of the chip. So don't use my setting as the absolute you know gold standard to use for yours. It might change a little bit. Uh, okay, so now we're at 176. Uh, 168. There we go. That's a good amount. Now, what's happening is you're cutting into the full range of the chip. There are 65,000 counts on this chip, and I've just kind of squeezed it slightly shorter by killing the, the bottom end of it, right? Starting at 170, what is it, 168. That's not so bad. I mean, considering there's 65,000 counts in the full range from zero to, to full white, you're, you're losing just a little tiny bit. You'd never notice it. And you're well above the noise floor, so you're safe in that regard. So I think this is a good setting. And I will leave it there for uh, this uh, this specific camera. Uh, what are, whoops, I just disconnected it. But uh, what, what did I end up at? Uh, so 75, uh, HCG, gain of zero, 75. I think that's a very good setting uh, for this camera. Now make sure when you're doing this, you're, you're using the binning mode that you're taking pictures at. In you know, most cases, it would be one by one. And you probably also want to verify outside at night when you've got the cooler running and everything that it stayed uh, at a good uh, number above the, the the low zero mark. I, I haven't actually experimented. I don't know if turning the cooler on and cooling it down changes that uh, bias lowest uh, number threshold very much. I've got this set up on my desk here, and the cooler is not even on, so it might change a little bit. But it's a good a good thing to to check before you. Uh, uh, start taking a series of exposures. Um, and I think that's all I wanted to say. Just make sure your bias level, uh, black level, is a little bit above zero, and you're good to go. All right, thank you very much. And as always, clear skies.